Hi friends, my name is Chloe Taylor, the creator of Coffee, and today we are going to be going over a working crib mod. I have actually done this video in the past, but there was a lot of things I didn't address. It didn't work for everyone, and the original, I believe, is outdated. So I'm here to actually share with you an up-to-date version of how you can get cribs like this in your game and actually get them to work. So let me first show you actually how this works and kind of what it is, and then I will actually carry you through step by step the download process where to put the files all of that stuff so there will also be some timestamps listed for you in the description as well as in the comment section if you like kind of already know how mods work and you just want to skip around and see some different parts of this feel free to do so uh, if you're unfamiliar with mods at all or any of this stuff I would definitely suggest watching from start to finish so you kind of can grasp the fullness this is a very easy thing to do uh, I don't feel like this is complicated at all. Everything that you need, again, is listed down below. So uh, let's go ahead and get on started with this. So first I'm gonna show you how this mod actually works. And then I will also show off some different kinds of cribs at the end that I have found and where you can find them. But let's actually go through the process of showing you how it works first. So I am using MC Command, Command Center just for the purpose of making the pregnancy really fast. Uh, this is not really part of this this mod tutorial. I want to do a separate video going over MC Command Center, but we're just going to make her pregnant really quick. So now you can see super pregnant. Uh, let me actually go ahead and well, I don't need to buy a crib yet. I think it's actually better if I don't. So I'm going to fast forward through her labor process really quick. Okay, so our sim is actually giving birth now and I'll show you kind of what happens. So normally a bassinet would populate, but because I have this mod in, there's no bassinet. Uh, so it gives us like basically an invisible bassinet. And like I said, it's here, you just can't see it because it's invisible. So uh, we had our baby girl, I'm just, her name is Mariah apparently. All right. And she's holding the baby, holding, holding. And then when she goes to actually set this baby down, she's just gonna be floating. So see, baby is just chilling, floating here. So what we're actually gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna search cribs. Actually, I'll just search crib. And I have all of my custom cribs here, which I will go over for you guys momentarily or after I show you how to install the mod. I'm just gonna put another one of these cribs down for the time being. And then I actually am gonna click on the baby and just go ahead and place her right in there. And so now it's functional. This is what that crib looks like. Again, I have many others that I'll show you guys after I show you how to kind of go over the mod, but it is functioning. I can come over here and actually feed this baby and it's honestly no big deal. So it's, oh, I love that she literally just was in labor and now she's playful. Like what is my Sims life? So she can come over here, feed her, and then she'll just lay her right back down. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to install this mod. Okay, so I've provided all of the links to everything in the description. So if you need specific links to these things, you will have them. Now, uh, there are two options for this baby crib, and I'm gonna explain both of those to you right now. There is the baby crib, which this comes from the Sims resource. I actually have a subscription to their website website. You do not have to have a subscription to get this though. If you don't have a subscription, they make you wait like 10 seconds per download, but you can still get it for free. You just have to wait 10 seconds. And there's like ads and stuff that are present on the website. But uh, to me, I download so much custom content that I pay monthly to have a subscription here because I love this website and I just get a lot of stuff here. So there is the baby crib mod, which this basically is just the one that if you play it down before you give birth and then you have the baby at home they will go directly to this invisible crib that you can then move around which I'll show you after I go through the download process so there's also the baby with hidden crib default. And what this does is basically, if you don't ever want to use a bassinet for babies, this replaces the default bassinet with the invisible crib, which this is the one that I prefer because I don't really care for the bassinets. Uh, that way, you know, I can have this, but you know, either way, if you want yours to always come up as invisible or you want to actually make it happen, that is completely up to you. The other thing 
that you're going to need before you start this process is you will want to make sure that you have WinRAR. This is a completely free program and you can snag it for yourself and install it. I'm not going to go through the install process for WinRAR, but basically you would say download WinRAR. Um, it would take you to this page. You're going to click the blue link again, download WinRAR. Do not go to buy WinRAR. You do not have to pay for WinRAR to use it. Download WinRAR. And then it's like free, blah, blah, blah. Don't even pay attention to this. In the bottom corner down here, it already went ahead and downloaded. So that is the thing that you're going to use. This is the program that you would install. You would just double click on this in your downloads folder and go through the installation setup. Uh, you need this if you are unpacking things, which we will be, and I will show you how to do that now. So going back to the baby cribs, you're going to go ahead and hit download on whichever one you desire. So I'm going to go for the default option because I want mine to always be invisible. So there's that, but I will show you the other one as well. Like I said, if you don't have a subscription to the Sims resource, you will have to wait 10 seconds for your download to start going. So now that we have looked at that, let's go ahead and take a peek at my downloads folder here. So um, going over that, here's my downloads folder. Yes, this is actually what my desktop looks like. Uh, it's actually pretty clean right now, but in my downloads folder, we have WinRAR here, which like I said, I'm not going to go through that right now, but we have baby with hidden cribs default. Now this one, you don't have to do anything to, you can drop this into your game and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, but this one, if you don't want the defaults, what you're going to do is actually right click. And if you've already installed WinRAR, which you would need to for this, you're going to go and hit extract files. And it's going to give you an option of where you want this to go. I usually just go with whatever it gives me. So I'll say, okay. And then it pops up with this file here. You open this and then they actually have, uh, two of those two files in this package. So you would take both of these. So uh, basically, because I'm going to do the default, I am going to right click on this. I'm going to go to cut. And then this is where uh, I'm going to show you like where you go to in game. So I'm just going to drag this over. Uh, yours doesn't have to be that big. It's just for showing it to you guys purposes. Let's actually make this bigger. Okay. So you're going to go to documents, electronic arts, the Sims four, and then there should be a mods folder already in your game. It just says mods right here. I'm going to open this. Mine is full of mods. So you're going to see a lot in here, but mine is like chock full of mods. So opening this, um, I have a ton of stuff in here. The only thing, if you don't have any mods in your game, you wouldn't have all of these different things in here. You would have this resource.cfg. I wanna say that would be the only thing that would be in here. There might be like one other file. I'm not 100% on that. But then in a blank area, you're just going to right click and hit paste. And what that does is it drops it right into your game. Now, if you actually have your mods organized, you have like individual folders for different things. Like notice I have a folder that says poses, January, 2020, um, day, night. Like I have all these different little folders that I've made. Uh, if you organize it, just know that unless you have a special mod, your mods, like should you open up this, like my poses folder, if you have more folders in here, the game will not register those. You can only go one folder deep in the mods folder or your game will not register the mod. So just know that. Um, I think, I don't think they've ever changed that since the start of this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that still is something that is an issue that people maybe are unaware of. So now it's in, that's all you had to do. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up the game and show you what you may want to look at if it's not working. And then I will go over uh, some of the cribs that I have for you guys as well and provide links for those different cribs. So let's go check it out. So if you are in game, the number one thing that I don't think people look at that is very important if you've put mods in your game is you need to make sure that you go into the game settings. So you're just gonna go right up here in the right hand corner where it says options menu. You're gonna click on that, go to game options. And then actually under, I think it's under other, 
Yeah, so under other, there's one that says script mods allowed. You're gonna check that. And you're also gonna check the enable custom content mods. And then you'll say apply changes. And to actually make the changes go into effect, you do have to close your game and restart it. And then it should all be good to go from there. So that is how you check to make sure your mods are even enabled. That might be the reason that it hasn't worked for you in the past. If you have issues with like any of the mods in game, that might be part of the problem. All right, you guys. So I want to go ahead and show you some of the cribs that I have. I have several from Sevrinka, I think is how you say it on the Sims resource. And then one from Jom Sims. So the one that I have from Jom Sims looks like, oh, <laughs> uh, looks like this. Uh, it's kind of got this like wicker look to it. It comes in blue and pink and then the wicker comes in like a gray and then an orangey color or more on like the, like the wood colors for the wicker are different. This one I feel like is so beautiful. It would work really well for like infancy photos or things like that. It's just like a little bassinet. Then we also have this one from Sevrinka, which looks like this. And it comes in blue, green, and pink. And it actually has a little carriage detailing on the side. I think it's called the Royal Crib or something of that nature. So we have that one. And then we have this one from Sivrinka that you guys have already seen. Uh, all the links for these will be down below, by the way, in the order that I'm showing them to you. So this is the Sivrinka one. And I wanna say you potentially could fit more than one baby in here. Like if I went like this and actually played, I'm gonna see if it will let me. I'm pretty sure you could fit both kids in this one. So let's fast forward. Okay. Oh, what is happening to my baby? Girlfriend is glitching. Okay, I think it was just where my screen was. We're fine. Okay, so yeah, this one, I think you would probably have to put move objects on or like put them a little bit closer to the edges of the bed, but you can definitely do like twins in this bed, maybe even triplets. I wanna make sure that it like functions though. Like, can I actually access both kids is the real question. Let's like coo at you and then bounce you. Okay, so she can interact with that one and yeah, it looks like it totally functions that way. So great, I love that. So you actually can use this crib for multiple kids. I wanna say the bigger cribs are all like that. Like you could put multiple babies in one crib, which is very cool. Um, and if you're looking for them in your CC, all you have to do is search the word crib and all of them will come up. So there's that one, Let's sell that. Uh, we also have this one here, which is the heart deco. I'm trying to see if I can get them. Oh yeah, you can. So the heart deco crib has this cute little bear detail on the side and it's just got these cutie little hearts. It comes in green, pink, and blue. Love that. And then this one is probably like the most famous crib in my opinion. It is this one, what is it called? It is the Victoria Nursery. I have seen this crib probably more than any of the others uh, in like anyone's videos. I feel like this one was like in my original video as well, but this one is in blue it comes in a green a blue and then a pink um, so I love that absolutely beautiful and there are more accessories that go with some of these if you go and there's like full sets that match these cribs I'm just showing you the actual crib DLC for this one so those are all the different cribs again the links for them are down below if you guys want to get those for yourselves all right guys so if you want to download cribs from the Sims resource, which is where I found all of mine. I just searched in the Sims resource crib or in the search bar baby crib. <clears throat> and it, I'm also already in the like Sims 4 category searching for this. I believe if you don't have a subscription, I don't know if the website allows you to search like this. So I have provided individual links to the cribs that I actually picked up today. So you can go and just get those ones individually. But, and this is not sponsored by the Sims resource. I just really like their website. But as you can see on this very first page, we have a ton of different cribs and baby nursery sets to choose from. I have grabbed grabbed a bunch of like individual cribs. There are a ton of them by Savrinka, I think is how you say it. I have one that I showed you by Jom Sims. And basically let's just, we'll go through one of them and I'll show you what to do. So I'm actually gonna go to page two 
And I really like this Evelina Nursery by Savrinka. I hope I'm saying her name right. So you would just open that up, go ahead and hit, actually, I wonder if I can open up the page. Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to go to that page, hit download. Again, if you don't have a subscription, you will need to wait 10 seconds, but it downloads. Then we will go directly over to our downloads box. And we have right here, Savrinka Evelina Nursery, which I actually have two of them because I already did this on my own but you're just going to take this just like we did with the other mod. You're going to say cut, go to documents, electronic arts, the Sims four mods, and then you would just go ahead, right click and hit paste and it will drop it right in there. It's right here. And now it's in your game. So that's what you would do for each of them. The only thing that is going to be different, I will actually run through one more of these. Sorry, I lied. <laughs> the only thing that is going to be different for you guys is if you decide to actually download an entire set. Uh, so like, let's say you really like that set. Uh, you love that Evelina Nursery and you actually want to have the entire set. So you would go, I will link this set down below too because I just think it's so cute. Um, I actually don't think, oh no, there is a crib, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and download. Again, you will need to wait 10 seconds if you have not uh, already, if you haven't uh, purchased a subscription. And then we're gonna go back to our downloads folder and then it's actually this one right here. <laughs> yeah, it's actually this one right here. So we're going to right click on that, hit extract files, say, okay. And then it gives us the file right here and you're going to open that. And then what you would do is I like to left click and drag my mouse over all of the items, let go, right click, hit cut, go over to documents, electronic arts, the Sims four mods, oops, mods, and then you would go ahead and hit right click again and paste, um, replace file and destination because I just put that, uh, I just put that crib in there. So it was like, what? So that probably wouldn't pop up for you unless you already had a duplicate file. All right, you guys, that is going to conclude this baby cribs mod overview and tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please let me know if you have any problems down below. I will do my best to respond. Uh, I know I did an earlier version of this like many years ago. A lot of people said it didn't work. And so I actually sifted through the comments when I made this video and tried to address everything that I thought might cause complications in your game. So I hope that this is like an all inclusive way that you can actually get this mod into your game because I think it's very helpful. I like the way it looks. We love a good nursery aesthetic. So thank you guys so much. Again, please let me know if it doesn't work for you or what you're thinking about it down below. And please, if you really enjoyed this and you want more tutorial based content on my channel that can help you through different mod walkthroughs, things like that, please leave me a comment down below as well as a thumbs up so I know that this video is something you want to see more of. It honestly really, really, really helps the channel with the way that the YouTube algorithm works now. Uh, having those thumbs up really do make a big difference. And please subscribe because I'm planning to do more tutorials and more mod overviews in the coming weeks. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Twitch as I'll be doing some streaming this month. All of the links are down below and as well as a link to my podcast twin flames that I do with my in real life twin flame. We talk about spirituality, law of attraction, psychology, and all things that help you live a well-rounded life as well as taking care of yourself. It's available on 10 platforms anywhere that you listen to podcasts, pretty much links down below. And that is all I have for you guys. This is coffee signing off. Bye you guys. Mm -hmm.